Hey y'all, this is Vicki at Messy Table Studio. I am here with the prompt for hashtag my creative year. Let me make sure I'm gonna look on here to see it's week three and the prompt is the word knowledge. And I decided that I would show where I started. Y'all have already seen a lot of stuff I've already done in my past, my previous videos, but I thought you should see my very first sketchbook. And I guess this is my very first form of a journal, although I'm not a journaler per se, or maybe I am, it's just that the contents of my journal are so different than other people's. Um, this was a book, I think I bought it at Barnes & Noble, if I remember correctly, and I got it in 2013. The binding started coming off, so I took some duct tape that I bought at uh, home, I mean at Hobby Lobby, and I put it on there to keep it from falling apart because this was my fir very first documentation of my path down through to doodle, for doodling. All right, so this is, I had taken a class through Art and Soul and the teacher's name was Suzanne McNeil and she has put out all kinds of Zen doodle doodling books and they're on Amazon. Um, and I had a chance to take a class with her I didn't know who she was when I took the class, to be honest with you. I just knew that she was teaching about doodling, and I had seen it on Pinterest, and I was very interested in it. So I took a class with her. Anyway, so here are some of the things. I think I doodled these someplace else, and I see it's starting to come undone because I used a glue stick. Um, I drew these on some other kind of paper and then glued them onto the book, but it says 4-13-2013. Four, four so these are, this is where I started. I started fooling around with images that I found on Pinterest. I started fooling around with lots of things. This is the card from our class, from the actual class that I took, and she wanted us to do something to the card. So I punched out an open space. I drew part of a flower on it, you flip it open and there's the rest of the flower. And this was the actual an actual exercise in the eight hour class I took. Something else we did is we worked on uh, a tile. And this is the tile that's glued into the book from the class. Then we had to draw an owl. Well, I am not... <laughs> I, 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 um, <laughs> I don't draw owls. I don't draw animals. <laughs> so this was my attempt at an owl. And this is from, this, it's, I think it's on a postcard. And this is the actual owl I had to draw for the class on the postcard. <laughs> I'm sorry. I laugh because I see where I started and I know where I am today and it, it, it amuses me. I'm sorry. All right, so this one was a tree that I did and it, it is glued in here. It was drawn on some other kind of paper but glued in here. This was from the actual class also. I think the class was taken April the 26th and that's why everything's got that same date on. I think it's from the class. She gave us a dimensional butterfly. Anyway, so this is the butterfly from the class. Sorry, I had to get up and let the dogs out. And these are also uh, things that I drew around that same time. This is 413, so I guess I did all these in April and cut them out and then glued them in here because I didn't want to lose them. And it's just me playing with different types of patterns and trying to teach myself how to do shading that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm still struggling with shading. I, I'm not sure that will ever go away for me because I don't draw often enough to really dive into it. So these are just different Zentangle patterns and Tangle patterns and doodles that I learned to do. And I tried to remember to label what the pattern was so that I could remember if I needed to use this as a reference at another time and I didn't have the computer near me, I could just flip through the pages of this book and find patterns that I like. I like this one, leaflets. And I did it in, in two different kinds of colors, the same pattern in two different kinds of colors, but I think I like this one much better. This one's a little too dark. You don't see the, the uh, doodling too well with this one. Again, 
just playing around. I did not glue the pages to this book together. This one's called Bubbles. These were done with Micron pens and a black jelly pen. And again, I tried to write the names of the things on there that I could remember the name of the pattern. I might have gotten these off of Pinterest, but I think the majority of them I got out of one of Suzanne McNeil's Zentangle books. And see, this one's got all kinds of names on it from what, from when I drew it. I wrote all kinds of names everywhere on here. These were, oh, these are called, oh, these are stamped tangles. So I must have stamped the outside and then drew drew um, inside the inside the stamping. Here's another one. Evidently I was fooling around with watercolors too. Here's another one that has lots of different patterns in it and I remembered to um, label them. If you watch the video where I showed the flip through of the mandalas that I did, here are these things right here that I like from the mandala and I think this that might be where this started from is this right here. I like this one. Plain, simple, and to the point. And there again, lots of different uh, patterns. More patterns. Just playing around with things because I'm not really sure what I was doing. I wasn't sure about much of anything except for I was having a great time and I was killing time where I should have been cleaning house and I was quite happy with that. <laughs> These are glued on there. This was done on black paper and this is some kind of white cardstock, I think. And that I think this was my white jelly roll. I had one white jelly roll and that's what I used on there. Still learning patterns. It's my arse in my pattern arsenal in my brain. Most of them I have forgotten. I just draw them and I can't remember what the name is anymore. There's some of them that I know the names. Many of them I do not. I have no idea what this is. But I cut it out. Whatever it was, it was something. This was the letter A that I think I got a template for this and traced around it. Again, this is just a piece of paper that I doodled on, I cut out, and then I glued it in the book because I didn't want to lose it. This one's actually doodled onto the paper. A lot of blue, teal. I don't know what color that is. A shade of blue. I think by then I had watercolor pencils and some of these were done with watercolor pencils. I think this was done with some kind of a liquid watercolor because I see I've smeared it outside the confines of the circle. No, this one's not glued in there. These two are actually drawn in the book. As you can see, I did mandalas, but I did very small ones. All right, here we go. And then I went bonkers. <laughs> I went a little bit crazy. <laughs> I cannot tell you any of the names of these patterns. There's so many in here, I don't have a clue. I recognize some of them, but I can't tell you what the names are. I like drawing fish, evidently. This is one of the things that you learn in the Zentangle book is to make little squares and then draw the pattern inside the little squares. So that's what I did here. I was testing out patterns, trying to memorize names, although there aren't too many that I remember now. Like I said, I just draw stuff and I don't remember what it is. See, Helix. I knew what that one was. 
I like this one. This one was a challenge. It's shoelace and boot lace. And they were a challenge to get the laces correct with the little eyelets on the sides. That was kind of hard. This one was difficult also. This is Rolo Chains. This one was hard too. If you didn't leave yourself enough space, your chains will look kind of weird. Let me turn this computer off. I'm sorry. It's Everybody's chatting and I'm trying to do this. All right. I like this one, Twister. This was one of the things that was in one of my mandalas that I said it made me feel prickly and it's called aloe vera. I like things like this where I do heavy black and a little bit of line work. I like that. Again, with more mandalas, I do like this one right here. I like this one a lot. Again, with the braided rug look. <laughs> Only those are hearts in between the leaves, which kind of looks like a marijuana plant. Oh, well, too many. Wait, it needs an odd number of leaves, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. There's more mandalas. And I did them on the small side this time. Oh, the first time. This is just a compilation of different patterns. No rhyme or reason to anything. An apple. Oh, there's writing around the apple. No? Nope, there's not. Okay, I thought there was. Another mandala. Looks like lace work. Two more. There is that plant again. Hmm. And I was using uh, Sharpie fine point markers and they bled through the paper. At the time, I did not know anything about mixed media, about paper being a good quality or something that stuff would soak through. I had no idea. I like this one. This one is a bird's nest with fish. I don't know why. Half the stuff in here, mostly three quarters of the stuff in here, I have no explanation for. I just drew stuff because I enjoy drawing it. I tried to do something in the sketchbook every day after I took that Zentangle class. Oh, here's more fish. I tried to do something in here every single day so that I could practice my skill. And I think that's something about knowledge. Knowledge comes with practice. You're curious about something, you get into it, you find out if you like it or not like it, and then everything just kind of goes from there. Here's another one of those where I did the circles, only this time I did the graduated colors. I don't know. This might be watercolor. I think this is watercolor on cardstock. White cardstock. Tried some, tried my hand at doing things on black. I don't particularly like the neon colors. They're not my thing. I, I really don't care for either one of these. I like things that are a little softer, a little more muted. As you can see from my other stuff, a lot of these things are muted tones of paint also, so they're watered down a lot. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I like drawing fish again. Evidently I'm into koi fish at that period of time. <laughs> Just trying out patterns. There's nothing, for me, this is not exciting. It's just everyday tension reliever, stress reliever. I was working three jobs at the time when all this was going on. So every, every little chance I got to draw something, I would put something down in here because, like I said, I was working three jobs. I was still a personal chef. I was working for a grocery store, chopping up their vegetables and stuff to do in the cash and carry section in produce. And I also still had my, um, and I was also beginning to teach part-time at the culinary school, teaching uh, sanitation to new chefs. So I was kind of busy. And it was a great stress reliever. This is strictly magic marker stuff. Not so wild about this. 
if I was going to do this again, I might go back in and retrace some of the stuff in the darker marker so you can actually see it a lot better. Oh, there's the rag rug. <laughs> well, I really like the lacy thing. I'm not sure I got it down, but I sure tried. I don't like any of these colors here. Again, I'm playing around with color. Uh, these are some kind of a, I don't know what these are, but these were odd. I think they're a marker of some sort, but I can't remember the marker. Butterflies. The sun. I like this page. And I like this page. This is okay. This is not. <laughs> okay, I like portions of this, not the whole thing. This is a stencil that I got in the mail and there were like five or six stencils and so that's what I was doing. I was practicing doing doodling inside the stenciling areas. This is also another stencil that came with that set. And another one. And this one. I like this one. I like this one a lot. I think because I got the colors right for my eye in this. It's not too crazy, not in your face, but not so soft you can't see anything. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones. This one's okay. And this one is also another template. This is free-handed. And I was trying out watercolor colors. Oh, this one's a mess. <laughs> Micron colored pens. I wrote on here, hate them. <laughs> and I still hate them. <laughs> Nothing has changed. <laughs> All right, there you go. The oh my oh, you know what these are? Uh, jelly rolls. I that's these are jelly roll pens, and I think I had some neon ones in there, and I used them. And I still don't like too many of the color jelly roll pens. I'm mostly a black and white jelly person. I think this is a mooka. I like this one. And I like this one. This one's okay. These are okay. I know what I like. Not this. This one's alright. No, not that one. Uh, none of this. Okay. Oh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, my. Oh. I don't know what I was doing when I glued this black stuff on top of all that color. I have no earthly idea what I was thinking. Uh, nope. <laughs> Although, I do like this. Not so much the colors. I like this one. I don't know why, but I like it teal and red. All right, so that's it for my flip through. I just wanted you to see that when you start, not everything is fantastic. And if you document where you started and you hang on to it and you go back and look at it, kind of surprised at, you know, I didn't know that I gravitated towards certain colors. I did not know that I liked a certain watercolor mixture better than others. I did not know that I gravitated towards certain subject matters more one so than the other. And looking back at it, I see now there's a pattern in my art. So I think that's where knowledge comes from, is you got to know where you started to know why you are the where you are today. All right, so that's it for the prompt of knowledge in the hashtag my creative year. See you guys later. Bye.